for coming out. If you're here, it's because you guys have one way or another represented, or not represented, impacted my life uh, for the greater good. So it's never goodbye, it's just see you later, and y'all better fucking visit me in Portland, all right? Yeah. You already know how it's gonna be, all right? So uh, here's to each and every single one. Time. Can I get a oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, it's your boy Matt Doe and in this video I want to talk about a very significant life change that happened to me earlier this year and that is moving away from the Golden State of California specifically the San Francisco Bay Area to the Pacific Northwest here in Portland, Oregon and please clap that like button tap that subscribe button for more lifestyle, self-development, and relationship content. Okay, now before I dive into it, let me just give you guys a little bit of background information on myself. I was born and raised in San Jose, California and lived there for pretty much my entire life until March of 2020, this year. I truly love the Bay Area and to this day, I really do miss it. We've got some of the best food and yes, I'm still saying we because I'll always consider the Bay Area a home even better weather and an amazing diverse community who just knows how to hustle and have fun at the same time. Come on, if you're from the Bay or if you've been there several times, you know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? Them ratchets and them hypey movements are unique only to the Bay. You can make some of your best friends at a random bar or a club downtown or a rave at Bill Graham, okay? Even SoCal people don't have our energy. Sorry, SoCal. So then if it's so great, then why did I leave? Well, I have a few reasons. I guess I didn't really think about or even consider leaving the Bay until my parents did so in August of 2016. Uh, I have a few cousins who currently live in Oregon and back then since 2009, we would visit them from time to time. Now, back when I was a kid, my mom was a real estate agent and mortgage broker for a good amount of years. And even today after retiring, she does day trading. So she's always looking for the next big investment and opportunity, whether it's property or stocks. Because of this, she would bring the rest of our family to look at neighborhoods and kind of see what the market value is outside of California, especially if it's up and coming. It was then that my parents realized how much they could have saved by moving outside of California and settling down in a not so expensive state. And yes, I say state because even if you live in a cheaper city in California, you're still subject to the state's high taxes, okay? Let's be real here. As beautiful as California is, we all know how expensive it is to live there. So I stay in San Jose for a few years to finish my undergrad and get a few years of working experience under my belt. My plan was to eventually move to Oregon um, to be closer to my family and have a change of scenery, but I was imagining 2022 at least. However, in May of 2019, we came across a community in Oregon that was just so beautiful and full of opportunity, okay? There were a ton of new and modern homes scheduled for completion within the next few years. The real estate agent showed me plans of new schools, several humongous residential parks, perfect for families and dogs, and even a plaza in the future with shopping and restaurants. Even better was that this area was close to all of Oregon's current big companies like Nike, Intel's manufacturing. There was a lot of potential here and I could tell that homes were selling like hotcakes. I knew it was a great opportunity and I feared that you know by the time I was ready it might not be available or at the very least it would have raised significantly in price. So I bought a house out here with the intention of renting it out so that I could stay in California for a bit longer. The deal was finally closed in November of 2019 right before Thanksgiving and I set out to find tenants. Ideally I wanted a family to rent out the entire place but it was pretty hard to find one. So I rented out most of the rooms individually with only the master bedroom left. I was also on the hunt to find a new job since my contract was ending soon with my employer at the same time. So it was a busy and stressful time, job hunting and tenant hunting. I decided to leave it up to fate and destiny and apply to companies both in California and in Oregon just to see what would happen. What I got was a fully remote company that, that actually isn't headquartered anywhere, but they pay pretty competitively for Oregon not so much for California, again, thanks to its taxes. So I decided to move to my investment property and my plan to move to Oregon got pushed up by a few years. No biggie. And the rest, as they say, is history. Ready? Mm -hmm. Woo.
Now, it's been about nine months since I've moved to Oregon and I've definitely noticed the differences between here versus California. Uh, however, I want to discuss those maybe in a separate video or in the future when things kind of go back to normal here because I honestly feel like I really haven't gotten the full experience of living here just yet. I moved here in March of 2020 and that was quite literally when the world went to shite. New state, new house, new job, new virus. <laughs> Thanks to quarantine and social distancing, I haven't been able to go out there and network to meet new people as much as I could have in normal times. I have explored some areas around here, I did some hiking, and luckily I have made some awesome new friends. But our hangouts were quite limited and kept to very intimate settings, so I'm going to hold off on my thoughts for now until things just kind of stabilize a bit. Perhaps the one thing I do wish to this day though is uh, I do wish that the timing could have been better because it definitely was sooner than anticipated. And me moving out here has now made my relationship with my lovely girlfriend, Paulina, long distance as she is still in California. At the time of purchasing the home, Paulina and I were only dating for about a year. I purchased this home as an investment on my part and really wasn't planning to move here just yet. So I didn't really approach it with her as a partner. It would have been nice if we both came here together at the same time, but I think me being out here mostly by myself is a great chance for me to kind of step outside my comfort zone a bit and learn to adult. It really does help though that I do work for a fully remote company, uh, which makes it much easier for our long distance relationship as visiting her is extremely easy and I can stay with her for weeks at a time as opposed to just the weekends. But with everyone working remote these days, including her, she's been able to stay with me for months at a time. She lived with me from April to June and then again from September all the way to December. Uh, in fact, I've seen her way more this year than I ever did living in San Jose when it was just once or twice a week for us. That's probably the one silver lining from quarantine, our relationship becoming stronger as we live together and learn to cohabitate. Eventually, the plan is for her to come up here and finally move in with me together, um, and that day can't come soon enough. So here's some closing thoughts. A lot of people ask me how I feel about the move, and I usually say that I don't regret moving here at all, which is true. San Jose is a wonderful place. I had so much fun and I learned so much about myself out there. But it was hard for me to focus on my side hustles because it was so fun. Uh, I, kept get, I kept getting pulled into events and hangouts and I didn't have the willpower to effectively manage my time uh, to really work on my personal projects. I'm really proud of the work that I've accomplished here, uh, but I definitely do miss my friends back home. If it weren't for COVID shutting down concerts, raves, bars and clubs, the FOMO would be very, very real right about now. But at the same time, Paulina would not have been able to stay with me for extended amounts of time because I was renting out there. This is home now. And as this year has taught us, I am very extremely honored, humbled, and blessed to be where I am at today. And with that, I'll leave it off here. Thank you for watching, especially if you made it this far. Remember to clap that like button, tap that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.